This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it's the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... The Big Week That's right, where we talk Lucha Underground, and this week we're talking about... The episode that was all about Marty the Moth and the Dark Phoenix Saga. I presume Walton by the Mothman and Overlords. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorg. Anyways. Sorg. Let's... Sorg. I was wearing a different shirt while I was watching Raw earlier tonight, and then I realized I need a costume change. Costume change? Man, costume like... change because, oh, man. Sorg. We're going to do this the way we always do it, but I'm going to go first. Mm-hmm. Uh, me, Palabra, Fada Lutra Underground is Marty. Because <laughs> <laughs> My... it's finally good to be the Marty. Everyone wants to be the Sean. It's finally the week to be <laughs> the Marty. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. You know what my word of the week is? Well, I want to know what your palabra is. My palabra of the week. Come on, gotta stay in the gimmick. I yeah, sorry about that. I was I was excited and, and I'm actually <laughs> stalling because I'm I I want I I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, <laughs> like I know what it is, but I forget what they used to call her. Um, mine is Chelsea. Oh yay! Because I don't know what her name is yet in the, in Lucha. None of us know. It no, matter. it's gonna be great. Oh, I love it. it she just is perfect. Like yep. I don't know why she's there. I'm just happy she is, and she looks like she's bringing a whole basket of crazy mm-hmm. with her. But like <laughs> <laughs> now, I, all right. Um, we'll get into this afterwards. But uh, let, let's. All right, so Sorg, uh, since I did my me palabra first, I'll let you go first. Well, it's too bueno. Um, uh, my good was yeah. my good was the entire Marty thread. You know, okay. I I now I was a little spoiled because I watched it this morning and um and I did see the gif of him with the belt, but unfortunately, fortunately, I only thought it was the gift of the gods belt he was wearing oh and i didn't okay. recognize chelsea green in the shot because it was when she was there at the end putting the belt on him okay um, so like oh that's interesting i will not pay like so i didn't let it absorb but i was looking at her because i was trying to figure out who the hell she was because i'm like that's not mariposa um mm-hmm. so that was cool I, yeah, no, so, but that entire thing was like a, you know, we were just like, man, I don't know, maybe Phoenix will go the whole way. Man, it seems like they're not doing much with, with Pentagon. And then here, here, here's, here's, you know, hey, here's, here's Lucha Underground. And this is the stories for, for the year and everything you think is happening. And then we're just going to go and flip it up. That was really unnecessary. That was that was very unnecessary. Story. I had to do something for the audio listeners. Yeah, I know. I'm an audio listener, and that was. It really sounds different to them. You're on a. You're, I'm on a way better mic than you're hearing me. Okay, so it just sounds like shit for me. All right, I got yep, it. Anyway, yep, uh, yep, that's it. You all know, right, all right. you know, uh, I sound. I have a completely different voice if you hear me in person versus what you're seeing on the on the on the Google Hangout. That's true. He actually sounds like a ten year old girl in person. Hi um, guys, how you doing? <laughs> uh let's see uh me bueno this week i'm gonna give it to um dark phoenix yeah they actually dark called phoenix, it just, the dark phoenix yeah just in general like he wrecked arrow star mm-hmm. like just wrecked him and he looked really really good doing it do you feel like now that he's going like this weird evil slobbery guy um, like it's kind of makes a little bit of headway into maybe him and Pentagon, like maybe even not this season, but next, um, kind of joining forces. Um, potentially. I also heard a room, like a theory somewhere that he could be possessed by Katrina. What? 
she then then she has a drill problem. <laughs> just... Well, I mean, you don't know how people like. Maybe he just hasn't read the handbook for the recently possessed. It's it's it, it's Katrina back when she had a retainer problem. Yeah, well, like, c- could you imagine like if after he shoved Melissa to the ground, he just licked her? Ooh. Uh-huh. And I mean that is like that's interesting, and I know it came yeah. off as that spooky because all of it applies. Yeah, no, it it all it's all a rich tapestry. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> all right, but uh, not every show is perfect. We know this. So mm-hmm. Sorg, qualis uh, to Malo, Pado Lucha Underground. Time. 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 Go on. When you're watching the main event and it ends, and you're just like. There's ten more minutes left in this. Oh, see, so you do that thing. I don't do that thing. I do that thing. I don't do that thing. I I try not to. Um, if, I, if I can help it, I don't do that. It thing. just it pops up or it was up for whatever reason on my iPad, okay. and I just like I'm like oh okay, and I just look through the corner. I'm like huh okay because I mean I usually look anyways because I want to anticipate if there's like if there's you know a post sure, sequence you always have to wait for the made in georgia you know this i know the wait for the made in georgia <laughs> no no it's not a made in georgia on this one it's the it's the, it, it, it's the concept of yeah one. yeah this one is the it's the mgm <laughs> line um but uh yeah so it's just like shit something's gonna happen like is it gonna be a super long are we getting like another 10 minute girl fight you know like what's happening here mm-hmm. um and and there's that Okay, all right, that's fair. Um, me, Malo, I feel like Cuerno and Mill were really underserved here. Yes. Like, I, don't get me wrong. The, their match, while shorter, was fun. But this is Mil Muertes, who just killed his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. King Cuerno, who's just, like, rededicated to the hunt. Mm-hmm. And, like, as soon as Pentagon wins, like, they just kind of vanished into the ether while all the moth stuff happened. Yep. It, it was weird. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the end result because I... Marty has been one of the most transcendent characters in Lucha Underground. From a guy in season one who's just banging on the door trying to get in mm-hmm. to where he is now completely transformative like one of the one of the guys who i think has changed maybe the most since season one and that's saying a lot (laughs) for some of these characters that's saying a lot i liked where we ended up but i thought it like couldn't this be the hernandez week (laughs) i get you i got you no like like seriously like i feel like the I mean, I guess it helps because Pentagon was beat up a lot. Pentagon so. was beat up. It's, it's, it's two of the most formidable opponents that he could have faced, and then yeah. he had to deal with this. Yeah, I, I guess I just would have made the triple, the three-way match longer. That sounds like your change for the week. Uh, no, my change for the week is going to be something different. Okay. Uh, so what, what would your copy of for the week be? Sorry. Um, did we have to turn Gift of the Gods into Money in the Bank? That was going to be my change mm-hmm. too. I mean, it's not. Um, I mean, it, it's not bad, but it just seems like it. It see, it feels kind of me too. Now, what do they do with it? It'll be interesting. Um, I now thought. Is, now, I think it's only a one-time thing too. I, it could be. No, so, so here's what I thought it should have been, and I thought they were going with this. Why not? Because he asked for the other fa- favor, right? Why not call your shot? And say, hey, I want to. Here's the thing: I want to fight him for the gift of the gods. I'm going to win it because you're confident. And here's another stack of money to say, hey, by the way, I'm letting you know I'm giving you a week's notice because I'm going to cash yeah, that like, in right like, away. Like last week, like last week, you're saying, right? That's I'm saying. Last week when he's like one more favor, I'm mm-hmm. saying the extra favor is and one more favor. This is my week's notice to use I, that title. I think that's what it was, and I think that was the implication. So, was it because it read like it read like, "Hey, the title should be defended anytime you want." But at the same time, you're giving that extra money. That is the week's notice. Like, yeah. hey, here's a bonus. When I win this, because I will, 
I'm cashing in right after the title match that night. Mm -hmm. Like, you could say the implication is there that he did give a week's notice because it was on the show. Right. Like, I, I, uh, I really hope this is a one-time thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, because now we're going to have, you know, the Dragon Balls are going to be scattered to the corners of the universe again. So mm-hmm. we're going to have a new gift of the gods champion. Um, yeah, because really, they've been really doing hope... it. They've been doing it faster. Yes. Than in the past. I don't know if that's necessarily faster because as tech I had for a while. Well, no, no. I mean, um, the the. What charms, pendants, uh, the medallions. Thank oh, you, the medallions. medallions. The medallions, the medallions yeah. used to take. It was like half a season just doling out medallions. Like once a week, people were fighting for medallions. Well, it seemed. I, I mean, now we all know the lore of the medallions. Right. Too. So you don't have to deliver. But like, all right, we're doing that thing again, and boom, 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 right. boom. You can do three of them in an episode or whatever, or do the, the team thing or or something like that. Um, right. So yeah, no, I think I think you're right, and we do. Do we still not also have on the books? Is it is it Marty the Moth hair versus mask with Phoenix? Uh that was back in season three. That was season three. That, oh, that we already did that. Oh, yeah, oh, that happened. Oh, geez, mixing it up. Yeah, remember Marty got shaved bald. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Marty got shaved bald, and then. Luckily, there was a really long break in between. Seasons. Yay! <laughs> it's like nothing happened. Like, so, he maybe had a year and a half to grow up. So, Sorg, um, who would you put as the next Gift of God's Champion? Just speculation. Maybe this is when uh, Son of Havoc gets it. Okay. Okay, I like that. We haven't... He was on a... You know, he was on a... Maybe he'll get his, and he was, like, super close to it, I think. Um mm-hmm. And then we haven't seen him for several weeks. Okay. Um, alternative. I'm going, I'll go ahead with yours, and I have an alternative. Okay. Um, I'm going to say the way rabbit. That's where I was going, like that, or yep. or Paul, or something. No, not Paul. Paul. Paul's the lack. You think the white rabbit? The, the white I rabbit. I want to see the white rabbit. Like, is that somebody else? Like, I I, I don't. That's not... Killer Cross. Oh, that's why he's familiar. That's Killer Cross. Yeah. I like him as Killer Cross, and I like him as the White Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Um, did you notice that that we finally have a name for the for the dark mini luchador in the cage? Yeah, wasn't wasn't like Rabbit Junior or something? L Bunny. L Bunny. Yeah, L Bunny. Just, just L Bunny. Yeah, just L Bunny. That's dark and twisted. <laughs> you, you know, they, he should team with Jeremiah Snake. <laughs> Jeremiah Snake and Jake Strong. Listen, after four seasons, <laughs> maybe all the good ideas have been taken. They have not been because you and I frequently come up with really good ideas on the show. Well, there's that. I um, still want my zombie apocalypse. I want my zombie apocalypse led by zombie Dario Cueto. I think I think I think it started of sorts with Dark Phoenix. It's all over. It, it, it could have. It, 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 very well it's have. it's maybe he'll just call the rest and be like, you know what, I need friends like me. And we just see Vinny, like zombie Vinny, come back and throw a pizza on someone's face, like it's the <gasps> opening of the Ninja Turtles from 1990. Zombie pizza party. Yes, zombie pizza party. Such a good idea. You should uh, give that to the scarehouse people. <laughs> They have a lot of ideas they're running with. So. Um, Sorg, I'm just saying, ground beef could be used as brains on pizza. Huh. Yes. You're welcome. That one is free. I'm going to tweet them. <laughs> at Scarehouse. <laughs> free idea. Zombie pizza party. Let's see. From the Mayhem show. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and close the show, sir. Or whatever oh, we're doing next. Well, all right. Uh, well, I want to talk a little bit about Chelsea Green being mm-hmm. uh, finally making her debut. Like, we knew she was going to be on the show because she was in the promotional materials and everything. Um, I have a theory that she was originally going to be the person that was stalking Sexy Star. But then everything happened with Sexy Star, and clearly they had to go in a different direction because Alex in the chat is saying that they kept calling her the Black Spider, mm-hmm. which that's what Sexy Star was talking about. Because that, to me, makes a lot of sense. 
So there, there's so there's a loop that we haven't entirely pulled together. Well, I don't think we're ever gonna close. That no, loop. no, we're not. Sexy we're not. Just, no, uh, she's she's just done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dave Lagana, friend of the uh-huh. show, Dave Lagana, um, just has a tweet that says "sleep well" and it's that fucking Philly. Babadook. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, mu- the mutated fry guy. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the mutated fry guy. I'm like, when's that guy going to pop up in Lucha Underground? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be all on board. Actually, you know, if Lucha Underground just got invaded by mascots, I'd be entirely on board. Like, can we, ha- can we have a Lucha Kaiju crossover show? <gasps> <laughs> wouldn't that be great oh jeez wouldn't that be great one of the buildings they step on is the old temple and it releases the evil spirits <laughs> hold on I'm tweeting the kaiju and, and uh, Luca right now <laughs> you're, just, hold on. Sir, you're just requesting everything hold on, I'm free seeing. idea from, from our, our Lucha, Lucha Underground podcast hold on I'm working on it. I'm working okay. on it. Keep okay. keep saying important things. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna talk about the uh, Lucha Loot Crate that I got in the mail. Ooh. I, I, I think I think then Alex crate. Cars did an unboxing. Yes, he did. I had a busy weekend, so I didn't. There was a lot of videos I didn't get to watch on the on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook yeah. group this weekend. Alex Cars did do an unboxing for it. Um, I did not do an unboxing because I am a child and just opened up immediately. Uh, so now. Mm-hmm. There is currently a Lucha Underground air freshener in my car for when I go to work, which is ironic if you know things about me. Um, I got another Lucha Underground sticker, which is great. I love Mm -hmm. stickers. Um, There is a really, really dope Lucha Underground pin that I don't know where I'm going to put, but I love it. I have a few ideas. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. And maybe one nice one. That's And, um, and I also sorry we did just do the raw wrap up, so I'm still salty from his salty. <laughs> this is true, but just, sorry, just remember, ravage, mm. Ravi- ravage, ravage, yeah. ravage, yes. ravage, exists. Um, but they also gave um, us a, an exclusive Lucha Underground T-shirt that I was going to wear tonight, but then I remembered, oh wait, it's Moth Week mm-hmm. on. On, on Luch- on He's Luch- doing the arm movements, guys. He's I, doing I'm the doing. Movements. I'm doing the bad moth movements because even though he's a champion, he still doesn't know how moths work. <laughs> <laughs> and now he'll teach everybody still, the bad habits. Still doesn't know. It's all right. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I will wear the uh, exclusive Luch- Underground shirt tomorrow night on the Mayhem show. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because it's a really, really nice shirt. I it's like going to be a fun show tomorrow. We're going to have, I believe, Charlie Deach. Uh, we rescheduled him from the Pittsburgh Current. Uh, he has, like, he's still, he is continuing the trend. Not only did he bring us a political former pro wrestler last week on the Pittsburgh Current podcast, or two weeks, two episodes ago, um, but he also continues to wear a wrestling shirt every time he comes into my studio. Not just for the show. Anytime he happens to be in my studio, there is a <laughs> wrestling shirt. And apparently, and I need to go back up. I haven't been there since they've set up a, a shop up the street here. Uh, conveniently between a special effects shop that specializes in zombies and a beer uh, distributor. That's a perfect place for a, a newspaper, right? Um, but apparently he has wrestling stuff like all over his desk too. So I, I need I need to walk up there and, and, and you know the whole half block and, and say hi and check that out. So but um, no a lot of stuff going on there. Um we had a great um intergender wrestling panel with our friends Marcus Mann, uh Booker at Rise Wrestling with a Y, uh Jinx as well as uh, uh Honey Badger and Emily Fear from the Talking Honor podcast over at PW Torch joined us here in studio as well. Uh, great awesome. panel discussion. Uh, I've gotten. I'm sure. I'm sure Lucha was mentioned. It was a lot in that yeah. one. Um, it was cool because we have a couple of the girls that are involved in intergender wrestling. Somebody that's booking it, and somebody's been watching it. And, and um, I think was at. I think she was at All In. Uh, the talk. You know. You know. Obviously, there was some implications there too, uh, as well. So, um, really good discussion, and we're gonna kind of continue the panel concept. A little bit. I'm trying to schedule one for a couple weeks. Not every week, but I think we're gonna we're gonna mix this up. Maybe we'll try to do a panel or two like every month, 
over on Indie Mayhem Show. So if anybody has any ideas, and especially something that we can get um, a lot of our local crew that we can get in studio together on, because I think just panels work so much better when we can get everybody face-to-face, right? Um, so we're going to continue that, and uh, I'm working on a booking for one right now. Uh, look for that maybe in uh, uh, two Wednesdays here. Um, IndieWrestling.us, go check out a lot of stuff. Also, um, if you like this show, which means you like Lucha Underground, Lucha Fiesta Pittsburgh, which happened directly across the street here, um, featuring CMLL talents like Sam Adonis, Ultima Dragon, uh, uh, Caristico, the original Mystico, and Sin Cara. Um, it is going to be available, and I believe this is official, this Thursday, uh, September 27th on Fight TV at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Go check that out. Support that. Um, we're looking to, they, there's rumor that we're may, they may be coming back to do it again uh, next year uh, and for other Mexican holidays uh, that I'm still learning. Um, so go check that out. Support it. And there's a lot of friends of the show that are involved in it as well. And, of course, production uh, by us here at um, Psychic Media Services and MediaWrestling.us. Excellent. I just dropped something that was loud. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mad Mike 43 on the tweets. Absolutely. Uh, I will be live tweeting Lucha Underground at some point this week. It depends on what my DVR does because last week my DVR decided to job out and I had to get the episode on iTunes. Yeah. But, yeah, which is great because like it's up the next morning. I may or may not have watched it at work, which is weird. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. It's not the only thing weird thing happened at work right now. Nope, not at all. Uh, but yeah, I will I will be live tweeting at some point. Just go to at Mayhem Show, look for the hashtag MM as always. For Marty the Moth, our new champion. Our new champion. Yay. I for one welcome our 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 fell our flapped winged overlords. Thank you so much, everybody in chat room, Tina and and Alex and everybody else that's dropped in through the evening here. And uh, until next time, uh, thank you for joining us on the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as The Mid Week This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. I'm a white trash